This is a short video to demonstrate the XL Ace Bookkeeper model. It's a really simple to use um, package that allows you to keep track of the finances for your business without needing to become an expert at using Excel or an expert in finance. The model costs £99 plus VAT. This is a template and it comes exactly as you're about to see it. Um, the sheet, there is just one sheet within the model, it's the, the main menu, and you will use these buttons up at the top to navigate your way around it. When you first get the model, you will need to set it up for your business. So you click on the setup button and it will take you to the setup sheet. Um, in here, there are basically three lists of information that you will complete for your business. This first list is expense types, and these are just suggestions, um, but you'll need to amend these if you need to for relevant expenses for your business. Where the cells are green, you can change them, you can just overtype them. So, for example, here, if you can get away with it, you can have a relevant business expense of chocolate. Where the cell is white and you try to change that, it won't let you, it will come up with a warning to let you know that that cell has been protected and you can't change it. So you shouldn't be able to break it. Um, so this list here is for your clients, so you literally list all of your clients in there. This list here is the invoice type, so for XL Ace I might have bookkeeping as one type of invoice that I might raise and workshops as another perhaps. Um, and it just allows me to keep track of what different things I'm invoicing for. You should just update this at the beginning when you come to use the model, but you can come back and update it throughout the year as you go along if you have new clients to add or you have new invoice types that you wanted to analyse. So once you finish, you go back to the main menu and then you can start inputting your invoices as you raise them to your clients. So you click on invoices. Um, in this sheet, uh, any green cells will contain drop down list which is a little arrow that will appear to the right hand side of the cell when you click on that arrow um, you will get a list and you can only enter items that appear on that list into those cells cells that are yellow contain formulas and if you try to change them again you will get this warning that the cell has been protected and you can't change it so it just saves you from deleting anything inadvertently Okay, so what you do here, you'd have a row for each individual invoice that you raise. So you would start off by putting the invoice date in, which might be 15th of March 2013. You would put in the invoice number, wherever that might be. You would select the client from the pick list. So here we've got Tracy and what type of invoice it was. Again, that pick list will give you the type that we've just put on the setup. So this might be for bookkeeping. In this column, we would say yes or no um, to whether or not the invoice contains VAT. So if you say yes, um, as these two columns are yellow, they've got four minutes, so you don't need to put anything into those. So then you just put in the net amount of your invoice that you raise. So it might be £100. Because we've said yes to VAT in this cell, this column here will calculate 20% of the net value. Okay, we can toggle that fact to no if we've made a mistake and it will just um, eliminate the VAT, put it back to zero. We can toggle that as much as we want, put it back to yes. Um, this column here calculates your total net amount, um, your total invoice amount, sorry, your, your net plus your VAT. Um, and these formulas up at the top here will calculate the whole column. So as you put in invoices, it will show you your total invoice value as you're going along. So it makes it really easy to, for you to see your total invoices. Okay, once you've finished inputting all of your invoices, you can go back to the main menu and then you can start putting in your costs. So you literally get all of your receipts and it's exactly the same thing here. You put in the receipt date, 15th March, the name of the supplier, it might be Staples. And then you select the type from the pick list, which should be what you put on the setup sheet. So there you can see chocolates there. Unfortunately, it might not be relevant to we might have to use stationery and postage. In the description column, um, you can just put any description, just to give you an idea, really, it's only for your benefit of what that receipt is for, so it might be paper clips, for example. Then here, um, the VAT, is the VAT on the receipt, yes or no? Um, so if there is, choose yes, enter the net amount here that you've spent on the receipt, and again, it will calculate the VAT at 20% and the total receipt value. So you just need to double check that that is the total amount that you've paid and there you may need to toggle the yes or no for VAT. What I would then say is take this reference number from this column and scribble that number onto that receipt um, and then file those receipts in that number order of the reference so that it's really simple for you to find a receipt if you need to. 
Just like the invoices, um, these formulas up at the top calculate the total for each column. So again, you can see really easily how much you've spent during the year as it's building up. Okay, so once you've entered all of your costs, you go back to the main menu and then you can review your profit and loss, which will basically take everything from your invoices and everything from your costs that you've put in and summarize it for you. So click on the profit and loss. It shows you month by month exactly what your sales have been. So in this instance, we've got 120 pound in March, total sales. Um, here we've got 12 pounds worth of stationery and postage, which is exactly what we've just entered into the cost sheet. And here it calculates for you your net profit at 108 pound. Every single time you enter a new invoice or a new cost, it will appear in this profit and loss when you click onto this sheet. Um, so it just gives you a really visual um, display of what your net profit is month on month and also how it builds up for the year. And then you can go back to the main menu and you can start all over again entering in a new invoice. So you might put one in for the 15th of Feb 2013 invoice number. Again, it might be for a client other and type workshops yes there's VAT on it and it was for say a thousand pound we can go back to the main menu straight to profit and loss and straight away you can see that in February there's a 1200 pound invoice that we've just added it's that simple okay so as I say this model costs 99 pound plus VAT it comes literally as you've just seen um, it can be bespoke tailored to meet the needs of your business so if you wanted to discuss that then please give me a shout there are also um, adaptions you can add to the model so you could make it calculate your VAT return you can make it generate invoices that you can send to your clients and you can also include your bank transactions and reconcile those um, but obviously that's a bigger model that I can I can show you as well um, please feel free to give me a call if you want any more information on it and of course please feel free to share this with anyone else that you think might benefit from it Thanks very much for watching. Bye.